yo, honestly, I'm looking on the dxracer.ca website, and um, these chairs are friggin' outrageous, and I can't believe I'm about to order one. This one, but this one has carbon fiber kind of vinyl, and um, definitely gonna be a Christmas gift slash congratulations efforts to myself because I feel like I've worked hard enough. 2015 and um, where I'm at now with some goals and everything, I feel like I deserve a good chair to sit in to continue my career here on YouTube. So, and the gaming industry and um, just to do work in. So get rid of this old rickety chair. Um, yeah, anyways, let's do this. I got it. This one right now. The, um, this one right here. DX Racer KS number six. King Series number six. King Series holds the biggest frame body frame and the heaviest weight and I uh, might not tell by the videos but I'm 6'3 and uh, you know I'm over 200 pounds I'm like 210 almost probably at my most 210 so I'm gonna need a chair that's gonna be able to support that much weight over you know long gaming sessions and for years on end so hopefully this chair is gonna be all that it's meant to be definitely gonna be doing a review and an unboxing of this chair as well I mean at $500, I have to try and make some of the money back on this through a video or something. Frig. More importantly, right now, I wanted to show you guys the unboxing of something even better. This. Boom. DX Racer. DX Racer King Series chair. This just came in the mail today, and I want to... I want to get this set up for my desk here. So I'm going to do that right now. Uh, I heard these are supposed to be pretty simple to assemble. Should come with all the tools that I need as well. But this is the box here. DX Unboxer opening. Uh, King Series chair. You can see I got the red and uh, foam feels pretty good right off the bat. Let's try and get this out of the box. It seems like it's in there pretty good. Um, what do we got here? Uh, inside this other box seems to be the protection for the chair chair feet um, pulling out this you can see that there's pillow pillow lumbar pillow you put those there this is the front of the chair it's the uh, carbon design here for the leather so the rest of it, we got the feet here. The seat here. Oh. Pretty heavy. Uh, we got the support. Support for the chair, the spring. Okay. And we got all the tools right here. And this is the entirety. This is the entirety of the package contents. The seat, feet, feet protectors, two lumbar support pillows, spring backrest, and a box here. But I don't know what's in this. Check it out. So this one actually has all the feet, the book, the wheels. So okay, let's get this. Let's get this thing put together. 
Okay, so at first glance, it feels a little daunting having to put together all this, but as I'm doing it, it's kind of like, it's not that bad. Basically, you start off with um, your feet. You just put the wheels on the base. And then once you got the wheels on, uh, you got to put these plastic covers on, which basically just snap like right in there. And then third, once you have the covers on, you have um, your hydraulic base here that you put fat side in. And basically you just put the cover on that. There's three little plastic bits. And then you move on to the seat here next. And you're gonna take out these screws on the side of the seat. And this way we can attach the seat to the, uh, the bottom of the seat over there. Make sure you keep all the bits together and remember which way they go here. Okay, so I got the chair fastened to the seat. It's not easy lining up the holes with the uh, fastener and the nut and the washer, but it's doable. Uh, so this is it now. And um, next step here, it says on the manual. I'm reading the manual, I can't believe it. Uh, put the cover on the sides. Okay, these black things here are gonna go on the sides of these here. I guess they just go on like this. Somehow. Everything is just like a click and a push to put it on. Turn it around, same thing here. Just click it in. All right, siding is on. Oh, now we need to do the, the base, I would think. Next is uh, fix the control unit base of the seat. Screws have been fixed to the seat base. And as it says here, four screws to fix into the bottom of the seat. Pointy side forward. Okay, let's try. So this goes on to here. And the screws have already been put here in the bottom. So there's nothing to worry about. It's already, the screws are already there. So I'm just gonna take those out and put this seat on here. This one's a little tricky. You just have to uh, attach it to this butterfly clip at the back. But that's the completed chair. That's some king shit right there. And this chair though, oh, it's so comfy. Like it's so smooth, it's so sturdy. <laughs> I'm sitting here like do like on my computer and shit. I'm just like, I don't even need to move. I just like do, 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 do. Like everything's like so like perfect. Like my neck is in a good spot. My back is adjusted. Like I have wiggle room. My shoulders are in place right here. Like, I don't know, this chair is like well worth it. So I'm excited to get on the Black Ops 3 tonight.